Singapore's history is always presented as a highly curated, perfected narrative, much like a supermarket. Events are cleaned up and organised neatly, and Operation Cold Store is no different. According to a 2015 survey, only 16.6% of the 1,500 Singaporeans interviewed were aware of the event. And even then, the truth of the event is usually altered in the government's favour. In secondary school, I was taught that those arrested were communists. They were always depicted as a threat to the peace and security of the country. While it is true that some of the protesters were communists, labelling all of them as communists demonises them in the eyes of the public and delegitimises the cause they were fighting for, which I'm sure is what the government wanted. When Lee Kuan Yew ran radio campaigns for Maja and warned citizens of the communist threat, he was partly providing justifications for the expulsion of PAP members who held a motion of no confidence against him. The expelled members went on to form the Barisan Socialist and campaigned against Maja. They also needed to ally Tenku's fears that Singapore would fall to the communists. And on the 2nd of February 1963, 113 people were arrested without trial. This marked the beginning of the climate of fear that persists up till today. Communism is often the reason given for those arrests without trial, whether it is Operation Cold Store, Hogley Bus Riots or the Chinese Middle School Riots. The Chinese Middle School Riots occurred prior to Operation Cold Store in October 1956. My grandfather, a Malaysian who came to Singapore to work and study, was arrested for quote-unquote communist activities in 1959. He was one of the student leaders at Chongcheng High School, and he was never a communist. They were raising money for needy students, but the government was suspicious to where the funds were going. The students also joined the 1955 Hogley bus riots as they were unhappy about the government's treatment of workers. Like many others, he was jailed and then deported to Malaysia. Those arrested, whether it was the students, the union workers, or those nabbed during Operation Cold Store, were and are still labelled communists who were destroying public peace. The reason for this labelling is twofold, for the PAP government to justify their predecessors' decisions and to explain why arrests without trials are necessary for peace. In fact, many of those arrested, including my grandfather, cared deeply for their countrymen and had the bravery to stand up for what they believed in. And probably loved Singapore more than most so-called proud Singaporeans of today.